For more videos, visit for the sake of education.com or support me at patreon.com forward slash Dexter Bells. All right, guys, let's do these two problems at the same time where they want you to find the tension in the cables to support a hundred pound crate. And on the second one, they want you to find the maximum mass of the crate if the tension on the cables cannot exceed 3K. So the first thing that we need to do is we need to find the univectors. The univectors, there are four, one going from A to D, one going from A to C, one going from A to B, and one going straight down towards the crate. So we need to find these univectors. To do that, we're gonna find uh, the points involved. We're only gonna find A and D because C and B are easy to find. So just find point A and point D. So A sits at the origin, plus zero J plus zero K. And D sits at minus two in the I plus two in the J plus one in the K. So to find univector AD, first we need to find the vector that goes from A to D, which is equal to D minus A, but A is the origin, so it's just vector D, plus 2 in the J, plus 1 in the K. Then you need to find the magnitude of this vector. To find the magnitude of this vector, you do the X component square plus the Y component square plus the C component square. So 2 square plus 2 square plus 1 square, that comes out to be... 9 and the square root of that comes out to be exactly 3. So this univector AD is simply the vector AD divided by its magnitude. So each of the values divided by the magnitude you get the univector which is minus 0.667 in the i plus 0.667 in the j plus 0.333 in the k. Then we need to find univector AC, but as you can see, it goes straight towards the negative Y. When it goes straight to the negative Y and it has no magnitude in anything else, it's simply minus one in the J. The univector AB goes towards the positive X, so it's simply plus one I. And the univector for the crate goes straight down on the K, straight down on the C axis, so it's minus one in the K. So now that we have uh, all four univectors, we can go on step two. Step two would be multiply the univectors by the tensions. Tensions. There's four tensions. The tension created by the weight of the crate, the tension by cable B, tension by cable C, and tension by cable D. So these four tensions, we're gonna multiply them by the univector. So we have four tensions. Tension that goes towards B, tension that goes towards C, tension that goes towards D, and the tension created by the weight of the crate. Each of these tensions, we're gonna multiply by the univector so each one goes with the suspected univector. Tension AB times univector AB, tension AC times univector AC, tension AD times univector AD, and the weight of the crate multiplied by the univector for the crate. And that gives you the Cartesian vector form of each one. So this one comes out uh, tension AB in the I, because it's one times the tension AB in the I, plus zero on the J, plus zero on the K. This one is zero on the I, minus the tension AC in the J, plus zero on the K. This one is minus 0 0.667 tension AD in the I, plus 0 0.667 tension AD in the J plus 0.333 tension AD in the K and this one is 0 on the I plus 0 on the J minus the weight of the crate in 
from decay. Now the weight of the crate, we can replace it by the mass times the acceleration of gravity which is 9.81 meters per second. So it's 9.81 times m which will be the mass. And you know that the sum of these three yeah, Cartesian vectors comes out to be 0 on the i plus 0 on the j plus 0 on the k to be in equilibrium. So with this little table we can understand that if we add the i's together, the j's together and the k's together we get three different equations. Now let's add the i's together. We get tension a b plus 0 minus 0 0.667 ad tension ad plus 0 is equal to 0. In the j we know that 0 minus tension AC plus 0.667 tension AD plus 0 is equal to 0. And in the K we know that 0 plus 0 plus 0.333 tension AD minus the mass times 9.81 9.81 times the mass is equal to 0 alright so the first equation we can solve for tension AB we get that the tension AB is equal to 0 0.667 tension AD on the second one we can solve for tension AC and we get that tension AC is equal to 0.667 tension AD. So from these two equations, let me write it down right here, we can tell that tension AB is equal to the tension in AC. Now from the uh, third equation, let's call this 3, we can tell that tension AD is equal to 29 Point four times the mass, the mass of the of the crate. <clears throat> and we can uh, tell also by replacing this tension AD into one of these two, multiplied by 0 0.667, that tension AB and AC are both equal to 19.62 times the mass. So as you can tell the tension in AD is bigger than the tension in AV and the tension in AC which are the same which tells us uh, two important things. So let me turn the page hopefully you've been taking notes. So for this problem Remember, we know, let me rewrite the equations. We know that the tension in AD is equal to 29.4 times the mass. And the tension in AB, which is equal to the tension in AC, is equal to 19.62 times the mass. So for the first problem, the mass is 100 kilograms. So all you got to do is replace the mass by 100 kilograms and you get that the tension in AD is equal to 2943.3 newtons and the tension in AB is equal to the tension in AC and it comes out to be 19.62 times the mass which is 1962.2 newtons So that's the first problem. All you did is replace the mass given by the by the m in the formulas. The second one they ask you if the maximum uh, tension developed in each cable cannot is 3k, what will be the maximum mass the crate can be? So what you need to find is which one is supporting the maximum tension. As we found before, as you can see, just by looking at these equations, you can tell that the tension in AD is always going to be greater than the tension in AB and AC. Let me rewrite that. Tension in AD is bigger than the tension in AB 
and the tension in AC. Therefore, the tension in AV is the one holding the maximum, which is a 3K. So if the tension in AD is equal to 3K, but you know that the tension in AD is equal to 29.4 times the mass, all you need to do now is solve for the mass. So the mass is equal to 3K divided by 29.4. And that comes out to be 102 kilograms. And if you wanted to, to find the tension in the other two, in AB and AC, just replace the 102 kilograms by the M, and you will get that is about 2002 newtons. But the maximum mass this cable system can hold will be 102 kilograms. So final answer, and final answer for the first problem. Please comment below if you want me to do any problems and I'll be happy to help. Thank you.